So guys, welcome back to Program Hub and into this episode, we're going to talk about a very essential and a very important topic about being a programmer. So today I'm going to talk about the number one skill that you need to become a programmer and a very successful programmer. <laughs> Now the very first and the most fundamental thing that you need for becoming a programmer is the logic and the algorithm. We often tend to learn all the syntaxes, all the codes and each and every bit of the code thinking that we will become a very better programmer or an excellent programmer by just knowing the codes. No, that's not exactly right. Eventually when I started programming, so I just thought that learning all the syntaxes, learning all the codes might make me a better programmer. But as I went forward, so I came to know about one single thing that one and only one thing defines me as a better programmer and that is the logic and the ability to solve any problem. Most often we just come upon any course, we learn all the syntaxes and what happens to us? When we are onto a program and when we have to define a solution for a particular problem, we get stuck up, we get hanged up and we don't come up with any solution. And the reason is because we haven't invested a lot of time onto developing the logics and the algorithms. Now, this is the one number one skill that you need for becoming a better programmer for today and for tomorrow. The one person who knows the algorithms and the logics to the depth and has a complete command over it can rule the world today and for tomorrow. So when considering programming, the number one thing that I think that you should be focusing upon is developing the logics. Now logics, developing logics is not just in one day game. So to develop the logics, it's a day by day process. You need to think upon the problems. You need to think upon like how can you solve the problems? How can you develop a solution? And what can be the various number of the ways for solving a single problem? So might be there would be a one problem. So there can be n number of ways for solving those problems. So you need to figure out those ways of solving a single problem into a multiple various ways. So one way might be a little longer way and the other would be a little shorter way. So when you come upon learning those logics and when you try to define another logic, another logic, another logic for the same problem, you start to think more and more often onto the logics and determining which logic would be the most better logic and which would consume the most less amount of time as well as the resources, as well as the time, as well as increase the efficiency of the program. So the number one thing that I recommend to all the programmers today and all those who are trying to learn programming today is to develop and focus more onto the logics and onto the algorithm because this is the one thing that can enable you to learn any programming language very fast so if you're thinking that learning one programming language is all about just learning all the syntaxes and getting through it no that's not the case so if you have actually invested a lot of time on learning the logics and algorithms, so you can pick up any programming language and learn that into very few amount of time. So that is what I always recommend to all the programmers around that if you're trying to begin learning programming or if you're an intermediate level programmer, so the number one thing that you should be focusing upon is the logics, not onto the syntax or not onto the codes because syntax and codes can be learned any while, any time. But logics is developed over the time. So you need to invest a lot of amount of time lot of amount of time onto developing your logics and then developing upon your algorithms so focus more amount of time onto understanding why does the code functions that way only so for ask those simple little questions like why is it functioning this way only why is it functioning that way only so understand that root basics understand that little critical things and that can enable you to become a better programmer not just for today and for, for tomorrow and for anytime so that was it that i wanted to give you as a tip for today for becoming a better programmer so meet you into the next video till then goodbye